the internet has transformed human rights movements. States can no longer exercise control based on the notion of a monopoly over information. We have also witnessed how courageous individuals strategically use the internet to mobilize and support others in demanding their human rights. I'm concerned that websites continue to be blocked in many countries, either permanently or through the use of just-in-time blocking during specific periods of political significance. Sufficient safeguards must be put in place to ensure that no restriction on accessing online content is arbitrary or excessive. We do not need new standards of human rights. Uh, the standards exist. Articles 19 and 20 of the ICCPR are very clear. And all the other standards of human rights uh, doctrine and human rights principles apply online as they do offline. Whether it be through oral word, written word, or art, or any other form of expression, it, it can have the same basic principles. As the world is moving online very fast, big time, then the freedoms and the human rights that we cherish in the offline world must be protected in the online world. Because if that doesn't happen, what will happen is that as we switch on to the world, there's a risk that we switch off the freedoms. Uh, the challenges are mounting to keep that type of freedom uh, available. Um, overall, 40 countries censor the net in some form or fashion, up from only four a decade ago. And at Google, what we're seeing, we operate in about 150 countries, and in 25 of them, our products are either banned, blocked, or um, you know, regulations imposed that really don't allow us to carry out that mission of making information accessible to all. What is really important is that states don't opt for cheap alternatives. And I would say that restriction um, is in, in, in effect a cheap alternative and not a sustainable one. In the long term you do need rule in law and good fair law enforcement. Internet has to be seen also as a necessary element for other rights access to information, access to education, to freedom of assembly and, and uh, mobilization and peaceful mobilization or to development.